Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Johnny Fraze. Today, we're going to be breaking down how to assemble the Espada fight stick. And fortunately, I was able to capture one of these builds on one of my uh, recent streams. Uh, this stick was actually a holiday gift for the homegirl, Miss Lima Hilton, aka Miss Patricia. But this was a gift from FGC Kratos and uh, King Rex NY. Um, for her holiday gift. It was really cool. I um, also donated some parts and my time and um, the artwork. So as you can see, I'm actually cutting out artwork right now. You don't really have to do this. We have artwork templates set up at focusattack.com so that you can just submit your artwork and have it pre-cut and printed from them. But uh, I did this one manually just because of time restraints. We wanted to get this out before the holiday. And I do have a decent printer at home that can you know, um, print out exactly the size that's needed. But the unfortunate part is I have to cut this out manually. Now, a lot of people ask, how do I cut so precisely? Honestly, I just use a box cutter. Um, I just a lot of practice. I've been doing this for a couple years and, you know, just a steady hand and a box cutter. And you'll see some blue tape that I'm using to um, secure the templates down over the artwork. All right, looks like the top is done and there's the bottom. So the artwork was done by Clever Art. We actually drew uh, Miss Patricia with her favorite character and main for Street Fighter V, Ken, on the bottom. And uh, it's kind of cool, it kind of personalizes the artwork a little bit. There it is. Okay, looks like all the artwork has been cut. I'm swapping out, put a, popping a towel down so I don't scratch anything. And the first thing that I normally do is assemble the joystick. Now I usually stand up the panels on its side so that the hardware doesn't fall out and you can kind of finger tighten the bolts in. And then I'll go in with like a, a wrench and screwdriver there and uh, you know secure it down. All right, next up is the Brook PCB. Uh, it secures with two bolts. Pretty simple. Um, one thing about the PCB, don't over tighten it because you can actually bend the board. All right, next up is we're putting on the artwork and the top panel, and we're also threading through the bolts and standoffs. Now for the standoffs, I like to just finger tighten them at this stage of the build, just so that there's a little bit of play and wiggle room when you're popping in the other sides. Now I am removing the protective film for the top. There we go. And I should be popping in some buttons at this point. There we go. Now you can use 30 millimeter buttons, um, screw in or snap ins for the Espada. I always prefer using um, screw in buttons, but the snap ins work just fine. And as you can see, we're, we are wiring up the PCB. Now I'm using just the 20 pin breakout cables that you can buy from your favorite arcade stick store or you can buy them directly from Brook. They have an Amazon store now, which is kind of interesting. I'm also using the four pin cable that will allow you to connect touchpad, L3 and R3 on one of the sides. So you'll see that getting installed as well. All right, zip tie just to kind of make everything a little neater. And I should be, yeah, here we go. So we're working on the sides right now. Stripping down all the protection, artwork, and then on top of the artwork goes the clear plexi. And I'm also, mounting in the uh, the screws that hold the artwork in place. There we go. Now for the side buttons, you also have to use 30 millimeter buttons, but you definitely have to use snap-ins for the sides. So I'm installing them right there. That looks like the uh, USB side. Same situation. There we go, that piece is ready. So, at this point, I'm installing the Nutric USB port. When you first buy the Nutric, you'll find that the ports are flipped, so you do have to take them apart and flip the uh, ports in the right direction. And I'm also using one of those rubber boots to kind of make it look a little cleaner. So there's a white rubber boot around the Nutric port. Front side's going on with the artwork, same situation, just bolt it down. All right, looks like the sides are ready to go. So it's basically just a jigsaw pattern, guys. Nothing too crazy. Wiring up all the inputs for the side buttons. I usually do like home, start, and share, and then the touchpad L3 and R3 on the other side. Securing the panel down. It's a 
little tough if you haven't done it before, but um, you literally just wiggle the pieces in. Doing a little bit of maintenance on the wiring. Popping down the back artwork. So that's the back support frame that holds all the pieces in place, just like that. Back artwork is getting installed. There we go. And now I'm securing the rubber feet on the bottom. Slowly peeling it back. It's like a little reveal on my stream. People get a kick out of it and give me bits. So you'll see some adhesive foam bottom pads that I manually hand cut for the Spada. Uh, it gives it a nice grip when you're playing on your lap. All right, doing a quick test, making sure all the buttons work. <laughs> that worked out. And what you're seeing now is I use these little dollar store bubble stickers to cover the screws. It just adds a nice touch and I try to match the colors as best as possible. So it's looking like everything's done. Here's the final product. If you are interested in the Espada Fight Stick Case Kit, you can go check it out at jxkdesigns.com. All the info is posted there. Other than that, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Once again, it's your boy, Johnny Fraze. If you have any questions or anything, hit me up in the comments, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.